Okay, you guys, it's time for another art opening. So I'm calling this one my watercolor expansion pack. <laughs> I wanted to try some watercolors from other companies than Daniel Smith, and I asked you guys for your recommendations, and I got some, and I'm really excited to try them. Um, and of course, there's some other stuff mixed in here as well. It's not just watercolors. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It's an exciting one. <laughs> They're all exciting. Who am I kidding? <laughs> okay, let's go open them. Okay, so I'm going to do my best not to show you guys the labels because uh, I was too lazy to rip them off all today. It's not so much lazy. It's that I have minimal time. Uh, we had, it's, uh, let's see, April 18th and we had a ginormous, terrible winter storm. All our snow was gone. It was like 80 degrees last week, which was really abnormal. And almost all of our snow was gone. And then Today's Tuesday, so it started Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It was blizzarding, <laughs> like literally blizzard warning. There was no school for the kids yesterday and today, so I'm fitting everything in as best I can. Um, so this is the first thing. This is a Copic sketch marker, and this is in Y04 Acacia. And there's going to be more of these, and if you watched my anime... Um, my anime sketchbox video then you know why you know why you know what i'm entering <laughs> if you didn't happen to see it i'll link that down below and you can figure out why i'm ordering copic products okay so this is the next thing okay so there's two things in here there is this which is and it's the right one this time Windsor Newton Designer Gouache in Ivory Black. If you recall, I got sent Artist Oil Color instead, but it's right now, so that's okay. And then the next thing in here is this. This is the Legion Stonehenge Craft Paper. And I have really wanted to try this with colored pencil. So I got some. I'm going to try it. I've been on a real watercolor and colored pencil kick lately. So that is why you'll see <laughs> some watercolor and stuff in here. Let's see what's in here. I'm not sure if this is an art thing or not. So I might have to cut this out. Nope, it's not. It's an aquarium test kit for my aquarium. Not art related. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this one. This one I did take the label off, but it was the only one. <laughs> it was so much work taking this one off. I was like, I don't have time for this. I need to just film. <laughs> so I'm doing my best not to show the labels. Okay. Ta da Core watercolors, quinacridone magenta. So supposedly, so these are made by the Golden Paint Company, and I, when I do try to work with acrylics, I use the Golden Acrylic Fluid Acrylics. They supposedly use a different kind of binder in these, and it makes the pigments a whole lot more bright and vibrant. Uh, I have quinacridone. I have Quinacridol Magenta and Daniel Smith, so I'm going to do a little test and see if I think it's brighter than that or more vibrant or anything like that. But I've been looking for some extra vibrant but very clear glazing colors. I tend to work more in glazes than like wet on wet, so I wanted to find a few um, that I think are very clear, transparent glazing colors. So that's what I'm on the hunt for. If you have any favorite transparent glazing colors you'd like to drop down below, obviously I take people's recommendations, so so feel free to drop those down below. All right, this is the big box. This is where all the most of the goodies are. Take this out, make sure everything's in there there is a lot of individual stuff in this one <laughs> okay but you know what's special about this i forgot to mention this this haul 
was paid for by you guys. This is the first month I try to I try to do a monthly haul and they run about a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I think this one was maybe a hundred and twenty. So these were paid for by my first month's check of YouTube. And I even had a little left over, I think. So this is purely based on you guys watching and liking and subscribing. And it was really awesome to be able to pay for this and not have to have it come out of like our family budget this month. And it was really exciting. I was really happy. So um, let's see what's in here. <laughs> All right, what do we want to start with? There are one, two, three boxes that say Copic Sketch, plus I think one extra that's loose. Okay, let's take this one out that's loose first. I'll probably put a list of the colors I bought down below, but maybe not lists to individual links of colors. This is the Y0000 yellow fluorite. And then the three boxes. So in this box, there are Y02 Canary Yellow and Y08 Acid Yellow. And then in this box, there are three blues. These are B37 Antwerp Blue, B32 Pale Blue, and B34 Manganese Blue. And then we have one more box. And this one we have uh, N9 Neutral Gray 9, Y000 Pale Lemon, and B39 Prussian Blue. There are all my Copic, Copic markers, my new ones. And if you want to know what I'm doing with them and why I need them, uh, again, check out my anime sketchbox video because I talk all about what I'm doing in there. And I'll link that down below. And let's see what else we have in here. Um, how about this other Copic product? These are the uh, Copic Fine Nib Inking Pens in Sepia. I don't have those. I wanted brown. And that's, um, what sizes are these? In sizes, it doesn't say. Oh, they're. 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0.5. And in this one, we have the Jack Richardson, no, Jack Richson? Jack Richson? I think it might be Richardson. Yeah, no, Jack Richson. <laughs> Hand glazed porcelain seven well flower mixing tray, and I'm looking for one that I like. Um, all the ones I've gotten so far I haven't liked, but hopefully I like this one and that will be down in the links down below and hopefully by the time this is up I'll be able to say whether or not I liked it. And oh, all this stuff is exciting. Let's see what's in this white box. There are two things in here. Okay, so in here there is a tube of Windsor & Newton Professional Watercolor in Scarlet Lake. And another one in aqua green. And in this little white box, ooh, this one's heavier. Ooh, there's uh, four things in this one. Okay, let's do them one at a time. Okay, so I opened this one already. This was the core in quinacridone magenta. And then to go with it, I got a core in dioxazine purple. So those are the two core colors. And then these are the two Windsor Newton colors. And then I got Schminka. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I got the Schminka in Ruby Red Deep. And a little half pan because they didn't make this in the tube I guess or maybe they were out I don't know Ugh, I can open it goodness so this is the little half pan pan of the schminka in the wan 
Brilliant Dark. I don't know if I'm saying that right. There it is though. And I heard this is really good for doing um, flesh colors. So I have been wanting to do some portraits. So I needed the after I wanted to try that. I didn't need it. <laughs> Although I did kind of need it because I've been having trouble mixing flesh colors with the palette that I have. Um, I do have one color that's I've sort of been using for the base. I can't remember what color it is, but it's a Daniel Smith. I think it's the Buff Titanium. And that's a nice color, but it's more granulating than I would like for a portrait. So I wanted to try this one. And then I got a Sennelier in Emerald Green. And another Sennelier in Cobalt, Cobalt Violet Light Hue. So I'm going to be doing some testing and comparing of these colors. That's the gouache. I have um, two each of four brands that I haven't tried. And then, <laughs> yep, that says Daniel Smith. <laughs> I did get two more Daniel Smith colors. I've been wanting to expand my greens. So I got a uh, Fallow Green Yellow Shade. And I got a hooker's green. So those are the two Daniel Smith. And then let's see, there is, oh, two things left in the box. This is the Copic Opaque White with a brush. So I needed, I wanted to be able to do some white highlights on the project that I'm working on. Um, and I wanted to use a Copic product because the majority of the um, products that you're using for this par particular project have to be Copic, so I wanted that for my whites. And then this is the very last thing in here. I wanted this for a really long time. <laughs> I've been wanting to try these so long. So long. <laughs> okay, so these are the Schmincke Super Granulating in the Shire set. I love Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. <laughs> It was like a sign. It said, Shire set, you know you want us. <laughs> so I got those. I'm really excited to try them. Okay, so my second stack of packages came and it's time to open these and see what's inside. So, as you probably noticed, I am down to doing just one art haul a month. So when something comes, I've just been putting it aside and I put it all together and it's going to be one video and that's how it's going to be going forward. Um, so this is my first thing. <laughs> this is the Derwent battery operated eraser and I've been wanting this for a really long time and now I have it. Um, and also I wanted to say a special thank you to Sandy K for her super thanks because uh, that helped me get some of this stuff too so thank you Sandy for your super thanks I appreciate it very much um, now this box as you can see is a little worse for wear <laughs> I'm hoping everything's okay in there it looks like somebody tried to play an accordion with it so we'll see <laughs> These are my new educational resources. <laughs> this is book number one. This is Mastering Composition by Ian Roberts. And I'm super excited to have this one. I wanted this one for a while. So this looks really good. I'll have to maybe do um, some new art book flip throughs soon. Um, so that's the first book. And the second book is Carlson's Guide to Landscape Painting. Um, and this one I know is the photos that there are are black and white and it's pretty text heavy. Um, and it really is like, you know, learning. It's, <laughs> it's going to take a while to read through this, um, but it's supposed to be one of the best guides out there. So I'm really excited to look at that as well. And then I'm really excited about this one. This is the Encyclopedia of Pastel Techniques. Um, and yeah, this looks really good. I don't know if you can see it in, in there. These boxes are so big, they're taking up so much room. <laughs> can you see there? Yeah, as I flip through a little bit. 
Um, I just, I don't really, I only own one book on pastels and I wanted another like inspirational book to flip through when I wanted to work on pastels. And Miss Farita is back there making noise. Sorry, I just fed her. I have a lot to do today, so hopefully it's not too loud. Um, and this is the last box, and there's something in here I'm really excited about. And then also stuff that may, I think there may not, there may be something in here that's not art haul related, so we'll have to see. So this is number one. And if you don't know what this is, this is a proportional divider. Um, they're really good, especially if you're doing um, like portraits of people um, to measure and then transfer it to your uh, canvas so you don't have to like sketch everything out beforehand. Um, and I'm really excited to try this and get back into oil painting this summer. And then this last thing I've been wanting, I've been wanting this for a long time like a year and I just I didn't invest I didn't invest I didn't invest and I did this <laughs> okay so there's a box within a box I don't know if you can see that I'm really hoping that this fits my colored pencils but also my loose soft pastels and I'm not sure if it will um, most of these drawers do not fit hand rolled soft pastels like the ones that you can buy on Amazon and stuff. Um, so we will open this and then check it out and see if it does or not. I really hope it's good quality. It wasn't cheap, so I'm really hopeful it is good. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this. It's a little dirty here maybe, but it looks like it'll rub off. It's upside down, of course. Oh, okay. uh, there's no foam padding inside. I guess I kind of thought there was gonna be, but there isn't. So far, so good. It looks pretty good quality. looks pretty good all right let's get some soft pastels and see if they fit okay so I've got my pack of unison greens unison are pretty chunky um, I'm going to just put a paper towel in the bottom because I don't want it to get dirty because I'm not sure how I'm gonna arrange things yet we'll do three uh oh they look a little tall <gasps> they fit <laughs> Uh oh, but the door, well, I think that might be the, all right, we're going to have to put them right in the bottom and see if they fit, because this is catching, I think. All right, let's see. Uh oh, I think they might be just a little too chunky. Uh, or maybe it's just the drawer, because it's doing it. Well, that's going to be annoying. I wonder if it would help if I, none of the rest of them, I guess this one does a little bit. Maybe if I move things around, they do come right out. Let's try putting this one on the bottom and see what happens. I guess it's decent quality, but for the price, I would have expected it to be a little bit better. I think my husband might be able to sand this down a little bit so it doesn't catch because that's what's happening it's catching I mean it's not a big deal I could just hold the other door shut while I pull open the drawer I need and it is definitely some of the drawers not like the way they're spaced I think some of the drawers are just a little bit too big so he should be able to Actually, I think I might have just fixed it by moving everything around. All right, let's try putting these back in this bottom drawer here again then. And see what happens. I mean, there were cheaper options, and I specifically got this one because it looked like it might be 
and it does. I think they're going to work for my soft pastels. That's awesome. That's great. Awesome! <laughs> okay. One of the main reasons I wanted this is I've been getting back into doing a lot of colored pencil and like I've sorted out my 50 plus Prisma colors. Um, you guys aren't going to like this. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can store them chromatically in their tins anymore. I need the ones that are light fast all together in one area for when I'm working. <laughs> and I know you guys aren't going to like that. There are going to be people who complain. Uh, but tough luck. Because <laughs> I need all the ones that are light fast to be stored together so that when I'm actually working I can take what I need and have them all in one place. I will do my best to try to store them chromatically in the drawers, but like, I'll show you what I mean here in a second. I'm seeing how many rows of Prismacolors fit. It looks like I can fit two rows in here. Yeah, that's good. These should fit a ton of pencils then. A ton of pencils. I wonder how many rows of um, carrying dash I can fit. Because those are a little bit chunkier. Let's see if I can still fit two rows of carrying dash. Let's see what happens. There's one row. Two rows. Yep, I can fit two rows of Kieran Dash too, and I think those are the chunkiest, so that's good to know. Yep, I'm glad I got this. It'll fit my, all my colored pencils and my some of my pastels, probably not all of my pastels. Super glad I got this. And it's you're supposed to be able to stack them, so if I want to get another row, I should be able to. So this is really exciting. I'm really excited about this. I've wanted this for like a year and I just, I haven't got it and it's been hard to like have things organized and available when I want to use it and this should really help cut down on my time getting out the pencils I need. Um, so yay! <laughs> uh, I do have a small set of drawers over there that my dad made me. Um, that I've been, and obviously it's better quality than this, but I've been trying to sort things out. And this was just, I have both the Prismacolor 72 set and also the 150 set. Um, and I was sorting out, let's see if you can see that. So like these pencils in normal, um, hanging display conditions only last zero to two years. These only last two to 15 years. These last 25 to 50 years. And I need to know that. Um, I would rather not use, I, w I don't want to use anything under 25 years. So I've been trying to sort everything out and figure out what can go where. And I just, I need everything together in one spot. I think what I'll do is arrange them by brand, like Fabric Castile Polychromos, the Karen Dash, the Prismacolor, if I ever get any of the Derwent Light Fast, and then by color family within that. And everything in here, I would want to separate out the 25 to 50 from the 50 and 100 plus years. Um, I prefer not to use the 25 to 50 if I can help it. Sometimes I have to. So I would want to sell it, se separate out anything under 25 won't be in here at all. And then I want for each brand the 25 to 50 separate from the 50 plus and the 100 plus and then I'll chromatically arrange the rest by that so yay so yeah I re rearranged the drawers they're not sticking anymore they seem like pretty good quality there's a little bit of an open edge there that you can see and some slivers but all in all I'm really happy with it and it was the only one that I could find on Amazon that seemed like it would be thick enough deep enough for uh, hand rolled pastels. So that's really exciting. 
So, that is my whole art haul for today. Um, I hope you liked this video. I will say that the next art haul will be up like in a month. Um, I'm going to try to put them up in the middle of each month. These are maybe a hint as to what might be coming in the next one. I already have it planned out. So, uh, it's actually going to be a really diverse art haul with multiple different mediums of things. So there should be something for everybody in that one. And I'm really excited for that one. So stay tuned for that. I mean, this was a great one too. I was really excited for this. I'm excited for all of them. Who am I kidding? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. There's more art hauls coming. If you would like to support my channel and help me pay for all my art hauls, uh, it would be great if you could uh, comment and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'm going to go organize all my pencils. <laughs> So until next time, happy creating!